we're back. Again. Again. It's been a long time. Mm-hmm. Emma was sick. No, I'm better. With not Lyme disease. Not Lyme disease. So we recorded some videos and then didn't put them up because Emma was just like... <laughs> I've got sickness. It's true though. It was true. But now I'm better that. to talk about this tea. Might be the most yeah. exciting tea we've done. I think so. Probably. Should we, should we tell them what it is? Yes! In case they can't read the, the, in it's been the, the name of the video. Yes. It is a video about Canettles Gold. The only tea grown in Scotland. It's the first tea. It's the first, this is from the first harvest of the first tea grown in Scotland. This is tea, this is tea? This is tin number 12 of 75. And I'll be totally honest, I should have gone and looked up if, uh, if there's any still available, but I find it very unlikely because it was the, because when it was harvested and when it was released, it came out in November, the end of November, which was prime Christmas buying present time. So it's probably all gone. It was quite pricey. This this jar, this tin is huge compared to the amount of tea that's in it, which is twenty grams. And this cost 50 imperial credits of the realm. Really? Yeah, 50 pounds. It's quite a lot of money. It was quite a lot of money. But I, 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 I couldn't resist the call of Knettles Gold. Now, I did have one cup of this back in November to see what it was like. And I was like, yeah, this is awesome. But to be honest, I was so excited. <laughs> that but it could have tasted like anything. It could have tasted like anything. So... Yeah, but now I'm excited. No, you're I'm not excited. excited. You've not tried it, no. So I think you should pour some. And I think it should be you that pours it. Pour some of this golden so, brew. I'm put, some, put it in front of the camera like this so you can see it. Look at that. Look at those gorgeous leaves. It's really, really high quality. That's the first thing I can say. The, the actual graded tea is really high. It's all small leaves and it's all unbroken leaves. And they've taken huge amounts of care and attention to actually process it nicely to make... Well, if they absolutely, you know, I would have been upset. Absolutely the best tea you could have made with, with the leaves they have. Um... I'm pretty certain that the quality of the tea is also quite good, from what I remember. Teapot's giant, you should probably move it. It is a giant teapot. <coughs> so, we'll try it and then we'll read all the tasting notes and stuff. Ah, oh, she smells really good. It smells like spring, even though you got it in November. Yeah, but it is now spring. Yeah. We're filming this on Easter Day. We went out and we rolled eggs down a hill. What everyone should do on Easter. Yeah. Painted eggs. Painted eggs. No less. And Emma's boyfriend was all like, What are you doing? And we're like, understand. rolling eggs down a hill. And he didn't believe us that anybody else did it until he saw some other eggs. Found some more eggs in the park and then... He... Your dog found some more eggs. I found them too. She was just like, oh no, no, no. Now she's going to have stinky fart. Chris. Right, she's in a different room. Well, yeah, that's part of the reason we're in a different room. Nah, by the time she does the farts, we'll be back. To be fair. That's probably true. Maybe we should make this a really long video. No. <laughs> so have you tried it yet? Yeah, but it just hurt my tongue. Oh. Was it exciting though? Yeah. Be like, this is the first Scottish tea. We're Scottish. We like tea. Can nettles go? Can nettles go? I don't know where it's going. I think it might be somewhere in Perthshire. Right. What I'll do is I'll, I'll read the description, but I'll not I'll ne not read the tasting notes yet. I'll we'll wait until we taste it to read the tasting notes. Can nettles gold is special, rare, and exquisite. Mm-hmm. Only two kilograms has been produced in 2015. It's grown in Angus. All right, okay. And it's processed using secret methods. Oh my goodness. That are totally secret because nobody else in the world makes tea in very similar ways. No, no, but especially developed. Especially developed. Scottish produced tea. Okay. Which is clever since, you know, this is the first harvest. But I guess they probably had like small crops at the beginning to guess what, to find out what was going on. No idea. True to its name, the hand rolled golden tip leaves infused to a rich golden liquor. It is. It's like liquid gold. It is. 
and it's best before the 30th of September 2017. So about a year and a half? Yeah, I might keep a little bit of it, just be like that after the first get tea grains gone. You should get one of those vacuum packers though. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <coughs> so it's a black tea. But it just tastes fresh. Mm. It tastes kind of like a black tea. Mm. But subtle and delicious. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit more restrained than your typical like Indian black tea. It's not like pow and black tea in your face. It's a bit less refined than like a Chinese black tea though. Just satisfying. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? And it's local, so you don't have that like, oh my god, everything I'm drinking comes from far away. Yeah, that's true. Like, it's local yeah. produce. Oh my god, if I had enough tea though. And Canetto's gold to drink all year. I don't think there was enough produced. There isn't enough. Like, like all of the Literally. entire harvest was only two kilograms. Like, I drink more than that. Yeah, I know. That's months. that's like ten, like that's less than ten just little bags of tea. Tea bags. No, no, like the tea bags, like five grams or something. Like. Okay, five grams. No, 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 no like, bags. like you, you if you buy a pot, if you buy just like a thing of like just you know, clipper, mm -hmm. that's two hundred grams. So it's ten of them, and that was all that was produced. Right. So if I grow my own tea in Scotland, I'll need to produce at least as much as Canetto Gold. Yeah. For just me. And I don't know how they do it. They must have like poly tunnels or something. Yeah. I'd like to go to their farm. Hmm. Yeah. I'll go there, help for the tea. What we'll do is we'll put a link, a link to. Pico tea, and you'll see you'll be able to see if they have any there. It's unlikely, but they might still have some in the shops, and you can go in and spend fifteen pounds for a cup. Yeah. Yeah. So this cup that we're we're drinking, that's like a whole fifteen pounds worth according to Pico tea. Between us, thirty pounds. Yeah. Is it a cup or a pot? Actually, it might be a pot that you. Can. I'd feel cheated if I just got a cup in Pico tea. Yeah, no, they usually give you a pot though. Yeah. Then I feel even more cheated. Yeah, I know. So you normally give you a pot and then you just get a cup. Yeah. I'd be like, what is this? Where's my pot? We've got a pot. Yeah. We're going to re-infuse it as well. We might let some other people drink some. Maybe. Maybe we should. Mmm. At the moment we're just tea-hogging it all to ourselves, being like, this is our Knettles gold. No one else can touch our Knettles gold. Get away. Totally worth it though. I've got like three grades of tea in the house. Aww. There's a tea that's in the tea cupboards. Yeah. That's normal everyday drinking tea. Okay. And it's it's got some pretty pricey teas in there. You know, maybe up to like twenty five pounds a bag. Mhm. Mm and then I've got the 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 other cupboard in the dining room teas. Mhm. Mm They're mostly teas that are hard to get, as in like you have to get them from China. Um, uh, people have to bring them back from China. Mm -hmm. And those are the teas that I keep in my room. <laughs> They're really hard to get. Canettles Gold being one of them. Canettles Gold being one of them. I've got another one that came from China that we should do a thing of. But I don't really know what it is. It's kind of a mystery tea. I think it might be a long gin. So all the leaves are pressed really flat and it's got like a kind of cut grass flavour. And it came in a tin and it was bought in Hong Kong. I, I don't know Hong Kong, but according to people that know Hong Kong, it was bought near the Buddha, if that means something. Mm. The big Buddha. Into Hong Kong? No. But there's a fancy tea shop there. And then... Um, well, I'll yeah. do you a deal, right? What? If you look after my dog while I'm there, I'll go to Hong Kong and find some from the big Buddha. Yeah. Well, well, Liz, our, our, our person Liz, went there. Yeah, no, but she's been already. Yeah, know? but she went there and she was going to buy me some tea. She did buy me some tea. But she had like a translator person with her, and she was like, "How much is this tea?" And she was like, uh, "That jar was like 150 pounds." He's like, "Yeah, not get that one." <laughs> so even more than the canettles. Whew. I know. I think the canettles is the peak of tea. It's very nice. I think we should get some people from China and India and be like, "Okay, guys, sit down. We've done it better." I'm a little bit worried about giving it to people. The other day, I gave. Like, my friend is around and she, she's like, oh, like, a cup of tea and maybe something not much caffeine in it. And I was like, alright, I'll get out some poor, right? So, 
I was like, what poor did I have? And the, the closest poor to me was a, like a, a block, like a, a, a pan size block that had come from um, Shenyang. Mm -hmm. So you can't really, I've never found a block like that. You get the mini little ones here, but I've never like found a big block like that. And it's really good, high quality poor. So I made a pot of that, um, like a burp off, like a, a cube and made a, a pot of that. And then she's like, oh, this is quite nice. Could you use some sugar? Like three teaspoons into a cup like this. And I was just like. Just like. <laughs> yeah. Was it nice sugar or refined sugar? It was refined sugar. It was just white sugar. It was just like granulate. Got it, right? Oh my god, okay, so I'm really excited because my jam making project, mm -hmm. which is a long term project. Yeah has come to something amazing. What? So, you know how many jam recipes is like, use high pectin sugar, yeah. and then you have to buy super refined sugar with like added <sighs> pectin. Yeah. So, my Cook Natural cookbook has not a proper recipe, but uh, what to do with your leftovers for all the different vegetables mm -hmm. and fruit that has. So in the apple section, uh -huh. uh, it's got don't throw away your peelings, collect them and freeze them, and then you can use them to make pectin. Oh, awesome. So, <coughs> I'm going to add my Sneeze. homemade pectin to my unrefined sugar and fruit jam. I was explaining to somebody the other day that if you want a new jumper, you no longer just go and knit a jumper. You have to go find a sheep and, and take a razor to it. I never did it myself. Emma's kitchen is just full of bags of, of, of hair with poo in them. That's not my kitchen, okay? It's in my bedroom. <laughs> it was in your kitchen last time, I was there. That was only a little one. Yeah. Yeah, it's moved now. Yeah. My box room's gonna be climbing here and wool. Have you not even washed the wool yet? Nope. I don't have time. Man. Yeah, in the world. You don't even have like a degree to do at the moment. You no, work I know. Two days a week. Three days a week. Three days a week. Two and a half. Two and a half days. Yep. All the days, but not all the days. Less than all the days. Mm -hmm. Less than the days you don't work. Yeah, it's pretty alright. Yeah. I have two separate weekends. And yet you still haven't... Uh, no, I've been out in the world. <laughs> We've been doing stuff. Like what? Climbing, mostly. Mostly climbing. How are you going for the tea there? Are you ready for a second cup? Yes. I don't know who isn't ready for a second cup of Knettles Gold. Knettles Gold. I love how it sounds so Scottish. It does. <laughs> I like like sort of dropping half the syllable so it's Knettle. Canettle gold. Canettle's gold. It's a good tea. Yum. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to drink another cup in quite a long time, but I think it might just this might have to go to the reserve shelf for people that really like no tea. Mm -hmm. Like if I had like a really important guest from somewhere that they grow tea, like you know Sri Lanka or Japan, and they're like they they knew their get they know their tea, and I was like, well, here's some local tea. <laughs> and they'd be like, ha 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 ha, little Scott, and then you drink it and they'd be like, hmm. Yes. Hmm, tasty. Exactly. And you'd be like, yeah, so well, it is a cup of Knittles gold. And exactly. Finest Scotland has to offer. Only Scotland has to offer. It's also the worst tea ever to come out of Scotland. Yeah. Sure, they'll be Gross. happy. Happy for us to say that in our river. Then it's also the best. But it's pretty good. I've not tried any of the tea that comes from England. There's a little plantation of green tea somewhere in England. I think it's even more expensive. Why? I don't know. I'd like to try it, but I like this. I like the pot, I like the tea, I like the scenario. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good pot. Let's show off the pot. Where did this one come from? Christmas present from Victoria. Hmm, it's pretty good. I like it, I enjoy it. Is it glass? Yeah, yes. it's glass. It kind of feels like it, it's plastic, but that's just because it's warm. Pretty good. It sounds like plastic to you. Weird. Maybe it's secretly plastic. Don't drop it to find out. We should have done the uh, flowering tea in that. Mm-hmm. Didn't have it by then. Nah. Oh, we've got the flowering tea upstairs. Newest teapot. And okay. the flowering tea is the video that no one will ever see because everyone's like... <laughs> Maybe I'll cut some bits of it into this video if there are any good bits. Just like... Shut up, I'm not living. Exactly. Oh. Leave me alone. Give me the tea. Uh, yeah, oh, this tea's alright, I'm gonna lie down again. I think you should put it up. I might cut some bits into this video. See how it goes. If I'm on an expedition that involves a penile gene, everyone's gonna know which one the penile gene is. 
Someone's gonna end up drinking your pee. That's their issue, not mine. Do they still sell livestock with guineas? Guineas? Yeah. I don't know, you'll have to ask Tom. Sometimes you buy them by the weight. So you're like, I want 17 kilos, but that's probably not that many sheep. <laughs> 17 kilos of sheep? I don't think that'd be one sheep, right? No, I doubt it. Why don't you do that? Get a spinning wheel? Because I have a lot of work in before the spinning. Yeah, man, I know you, and I know that you enjoy making things from as scratch as possible. Yeah, so if I'm going to buy some wool, I might talk to Tom's dad and buy some wool. <laughs> For, straight from the sheep in Wales. Straight from the sheep in Wales. Like, Shall I just like pick a sheep and then shave it? He'd <laughs> probably be like, yeah, right. Exactly, yeah. yeah so yeah. that was really as, as from scratch as possible. And the sheep would be like, oh my god, this person's so bad at shearing. Stop, stop it, stop it, get off me. Ah! Can't do it yet. They don't shoot in the winter. Yeah, well, that's because it'd be cruel and unusual. Exactly. So you're gonna have to wait like three months. <sighs> Maybe even four. Man, not cool. And then you can go down to Wales and be like, oh, but one. But that gives you like three or four months to learn the delicate art of spinning. The delicate art? I don't know. Theory. Hmm. I don't know anymore. I know I know is something. No one knows how to wash wool. It's a mystery art. It's knowledge has been lost to the ancients. Like stained glass windows and blue glaze. Sometimes when I wash jumpers they're fine, sometimes they shrink. No one knows why. That is the way of the jumper. Actually it only works they shrunk. <laughs> I don't like shrinking jumpers because then you get them. I'm like, oh, that was my jumper or that was too small. It's nice and felty and warm. I think it's getting quite strong. Mm, it is, but I want to try it when it's strong. Because it's often like how you can tell what quality the tea actually has when it gets too strong to be able to drink. I think I'm more for the Boot monster! Boot monster! Or oh, listen to the reverb of that. Good old teapot. If you were to put a tiny speaker there, it would make things louder. That would. It would. It would. It would. Totally would. I can show you with my phone later. Pick the right size knitting needles before you start your project. Always wear a hat because then if it's sunny you're in shade and if it's rainy you don't get a wet head. It's gone a bit it's gone a bit freeform. Yeah. Should we get back on track? No <laughs> Jazz video We have people but they won't come on camera. Even though you've supposed to be on camera before in our videos. Haven't you? We made you just sit and read things like Shatner. Yeah. Oh, well. So Tom's also Sorry. drinking it, he won't come on, but he says it's nice. Right. So so are you ready for the tasting notes yet? Yeah! Oh my god, tasting notes. notes. Right. What what do you think they're gonna say? Spring! I think it's got a spiciness to it. Rounded. Okay. A little a little spicy tinkle at the top. I don't know what the word is. Tinkle. Tinkle, yeah, that's not good. Sounds like P and it's gold. <laughs> I was going to say twinkle, but then it came out tinkle. Uh, uh, like a little spicy um, fizz at the top. Uh, no bitterness. Let me see, I want to see. No bitterness, that's right. Alright, mm. <laughs> do you want to read it out? Actually, Victoria, read, it, read this out. Read the tasting notes for yeah. us. Read the tasting notes for us, off camera. I'm picking a book, tasting notes. Each sip is to be savoured. Expect sweet notes of apple with a hint of cinnamon spice, a pleasant aftertaste, and a syrupy mouthfeel. A syrupy mouthfeel. It does. <coughs> mouthfeel is all one word. Yeah, mouthfeel. Mouthfeel. Yeah. It's what happens in your mouth. When you feel with your mouth. Yeah. Um, like, wool would be a fuzzy, annoying oh, mouthfeel. Oh, that would be Yeah, like when you bite it and you're like, yeah, my teeth. This doesn't have a, a woolly mouthfeel, does it? No, this has a syrupy mouthfeel. This has a syrupy mouthfeel. Kind of the opposite. Exactly, yeah. I've, I've discovered a really good... I've, I've found a really good guy who does jazz metal. Isan. What what? Isan. From Emperor. He does good jazz metal. Good. Which good is my favourite genre of music. Canetal's Gold is really tasty. But sorry, you can't have any. Yeah, check their website. It's unlikely they have any left. 
Watch out for next year's harvest and save up your pennies now. Yeah, keep an eye on Pikachu around September, October. See if there's any more. And if you say now, it won't seem like a ridiculous amount of money to spend on tea, even it's, though it's still it is. It well, clearly is a ridiculous amount of money to spend on tea. <laughs> How many cups do you can get of that? Um, not counting re Four or five. Four or five, not counting re infusements, but you can re infuse each one a couple of times. So you can have one every few months and yeah, then get the exactly. next year's harvest. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'll probably be happy to drink all of next year's harvest because it would be the first tea bird has gone. It'll be the second tea bird has gone, and that's pretty good. It'll be like the Buzz Aldrin of Scottish teas. Well, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, tasty. Buzz Aldrin's pretty cool. He's alright. Yeah, he went to the booth. Have you gone to the booth? No. It's back. I don't give a fuck.